off the top tonight. The Grand Rapids Diatribe will soon have a new building to call home. The nonprofit has purchased a building that will be renovated and used as a youth center and creative space with affordable housing units. News 8's Amanda Porter talked with a representative of the group and has a breakdown now of their plans for the future. Amanda? The hope for the diatribe is to create a space where the youth and creatives can live, work, and play while investing money back into the Burden Heights neighborhood's economy. The diatribe is creating a new space for youth and creatives. Welcome everybody, this is 2040 Division Avenue South. Uh, we are in the future headquarters of the diatribe. Called the Emory, named after Emory Douglas. He is the Minister of Arts and Culture for the Black Panther Party, and he was born in Grand Rapids. Now the group is working to fundraise money for the building located in the Burden Heights neighborhoods. The whole total thing is over 18,000 feet. The building will have three floors. In our headquarters, we will have a venue in the basement that will be uh, have 110 person capacity. Uh, we will also have some affordable housing, which will have about eight units up top. And uh, we will also have a, a green uh, space on our roof. Our studios, one bedroom and two bedroom apartments, what we'll do is we'll um, cap the amount of time that people can live here at three years. And we'll ask that these people take uh, classes. We're gonna do a uh, credit building uh, class. We're also going to do a financial literacy class and then thirdly we want to do a, a home ownership class. Artists and creatives will have a space as well from 7 to 3 p.m. The creatives can come in, they can learn about how to slow down the, uh, their streets. Uh, residents can learn how to put up murals. Um, we can teach people just how to navigate the systems that uh, have historically held us back. The Emory will also have a dedicated space and time for youth development. From 3 to about like 7 or 8 o'clock, this will be a place for the youth. We want to work with about 20 to 30 youth, uh, mostly from uh, area schools. The diatribe will be working with 5th through 12th graders. What we plan to do is to be in the entirety of the students' lives. Um, so, like, let's say that uh, some students need to talk to a therapist or their parents need to have uh, some assistance finding groceries. We want to be a place that can uplift the kids. There will be a recording and art studio, a photo shop, cafe, and bookstore. The building will also have retail business spaces for artists of color and a performing arts venue. Our goal is $6 million for this capital campaign. Uh, we are more than a third of the way. We currently have about 2.5 in funding. The Diatribe hopes to break ground in December and complete the renovation by August of 2024 with a tentative opening date of September or October. A fundraising event will happen at the Love Where You Live Festival July 22nd from 1 to 7 p.m. Amanda Porter, News 8.